Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and those Dynamics guys. Uh, I'm very excited to be showing you about the uh, barcode scanner today. Uh, I kind of avoided it for absolutely ages thinking it would be really difficult and it actually is ridiculously easy. So what I'm going to do is this is a basics video. It won't actually, it'll work but um, we won't actually have any real um, reason for making it work. But anyway, we'll see it, we'll see it work, we'll see it on a phone and that's good enough for me at this point in my life um, so I am going to jump straight onto the uh, an app it's a bit of a here's one I prepared earlier this actually works but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in a new screen just to show you it from scratch because it's so short so go new screen whack a little blank screen in there um, I'm going to do insert a button like this um, and I'm going to call it um, I'm going to be really good on this I'm going to call it rename btn um, take scan yes okay button take scan i'll call it um uh, scan item uh and then you have to have obviously an on select on this and what we're going to do is we're going to do set um a global variable gv um and i've already got one here um and i will call um call it um a scan two um to and it's going to be oh it's called barcode it's called scan barcode i mean that's literally that is it you know you can be like a superhero of uh, barcode scanning literally by doing that so you go scan item uh, and what actually happens is and we'll see that um later on is it will literally fire up the um the scanner but it'll only work on your phone so uh, which is why i have to do that so if i then um just do a little um uh, text label here what i can do is insert in there i can put gv uh, scan 2 and what that would mean <clears throat> is that it would appear in this area now if you do the play button i don't think it actually does anything yeah, effectively you have to be, it, it only actually works if you're actually doing it on a, on a phone, or like an iPhone or an Android, whatever it is. So that's why I've done the whole, here's one I prepared earlier um, thing. So if we move over to the phone, let's just hope this actually works. Um, so I'll just need to reconnect this. Um, there we are. Yeah, it's doing something to something. So go down here so this is the um at the top here is the app that i prepared earlier and all you do is you well you just play it hello so here it comes um the world's smallest app i didn't even bother with um <laughs> putting the <laughs> this bit where it says button basically that means scan it so if you literally press button what it does is it opens the barcode scanner and look check it out Hit refresh. How sad is that? Okay, so it's now um, looking for the barcode where that red line is. So I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to show you something really cool here as well. Because look at how small that is. Absolutely minute. And in fact, it's so dark. In fact, it's so dark that I can't get it to work. But, oh man. Okay, it did work. But anyway, what I was going to show you was that you can turn the, the torch on your phone on. Oh, for goodness sake. Um, yeah, you can touch, turn the torch on your phone on, so you can then, um, you can then see it more more easily. And I don't know if you heard, there was a little beep, and I do like a good beep. So, um, yeah, obviously it got that absolutely bang on. Um, but this is a basics video, so there are no, there's nothing. It does does nothing at all. You know, you can then, you know, reference it in all sorts of ways. But that is the basics of the barcode scanner just bear in mind it will only actually work on your phone so you are you are um running a little bit blind it'll do qr codes do all sorts of um other weird and wonderful things maybe i should have done that but it's um i think it's really neat so um yeah so perhaps in future sessions i'll do something which is a bit more meaty um because it's a bit ordinary at the moment but um yeah so please use the barcode scanner i think it's an amazing uh, tool i can see all sorts of uses for this you know it's a shoe shop or uh you know retail type environments where you could have your stock you know you could be going into the into the stock room and you could be scanning things in all sorts of things like that so it's gonna be amazing to see what people get up to with that uh, in the coming year so
Cool. Thanks, everyone, and I will see you again sometime soon.